Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 13th March 2023. News highlights from the high courts starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court while staying proceedings against chairperson of Delhi Commission for Women Swati Maliwal over corruption allegations has asked if nepotism is an offence under Prevention of Corruption Act. The Delhi High Court while directing department to initiate a refund of input tax credit has held that applicants for refund of ITC cannot be rejected merely on suspicion and without any cogent material. News highlights from Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court. The Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has held that when issuing authority verifies the experience certificate, mere denial of counter signature on a certificate in absence of inquiry does not warrant termination of service. The High Court has observed that when the company is an offender, it is tried position of criminal jurisprudence that no vicarious liability can be attached to the officers of the company unless the statute specifically provides so. News highlights from other high courts in the country. The Meghalaya High Court has directed the state to prepare a blueprint to maintain condition of roads in the state besides working out a stricter set of norms both for checking and control to stop plundering of the natural resources available in the state. The Guwahati High Court while directing the state to implement its policy under Right to Education Act regarding admission benefits to children from weaker section and disadvantaged group in the unaided and non-minority institutions and action to be taken if institutions do not comply with the requirement. The Orissa High Court while observing that license application should not be rejected only because a GST return has not been filed yet has held that unless the petitioner is issued a license and is able to commence its business the question of filing a GST return would not arise. The Himachal Pradesh High Court has observed that section 102 of CRPC empowers police officer to seize property on existence of condition that property should have been suspected to have been stolen or which may be found under circumstances which create suspicion of commission of any offence. News highlights from other courts in the country. Rao's Avenue District Court Delhi has held that Manish Sisodia was instrumental in formulation and implementation of Delhi Excise Policy for 2021-22 and that his arrest by the enforcement directorate in the money laundering case registered was justified. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.